and you join me after a long period of time without seeing me, probably looking quite disheveled, that's because I haven't showered today, uh, and I coincidentally got the day off on the same day that the Australian Bureau of Statistics are going to announce the result for the postal survey on marriage equality. It's a few minutes away, making a coffee, I'm watching television, free-to-air TV, I've almost forgotten what that is, um, and I want to sort of live see the result. If it's a no, that's going to be really upsetting. If it's a yes, it doesn't mean that it's through, it means that there's another step that the government needs to go through. You probably can't see me doing that. It means there's another step that government needs to go through in order to make it law, which that's another world of debate, but anyway. It's on now. Australians can have trust in these statistics. And the final number was 12,727,920 people. My heart is literally pounding. Overall, this survey achieved a response rate of 79.5%. This is outstanding for a voluntary survey and well above other voluntary exercises conducted around the world. Participation in the survey was slightly higher at older I'm like ages. literally shaking. I don't know and if you can see that on the camera, the but I'm going to announce it soon. Markedly so. Australians can have confidence these statistics reflect the view of the eligible population. And now the official results oh my of God. the Australian Marriage Law Postal Survey. For the national result, yes responses, 7,817,000 and 247, representing 61.6% Oh my god! Woo! No responses, 4,873,000 Oh my god! And 987, representing 38.4% of clear responses <laughs> That's 38.4% of clear responses were no for the 36,000 oh responses were unclear, representing 0.2% of total responses. At a state and territory level, at least every state and territory recorded a majority yes result. Yes, every state and territory, every state and territory yes majority. majority. Yes result, over 60%. Over 60%. Which recorded a majority yes result of 57.8%. Oh, that's surprising. <laughs> yeah, it's a bizarre feeling to find this out on television that I could be a step closer, be considered a full citizen of my own country. Electorates. And a majority no outcome <laughs> was recorded for only 17 electorates. <laughs> Results were clearly in favour of yes or no. In every Commonwealth electoral division, within those 133 <sighs> with a majority yes response, there were 95 electorates with a majority yes response of at least 60 percent. Okay, now that I've composed myself a little bit, um, whew, it's a yes. 61% of Australia of the eligible people that actually voted. It wasn't a compulsory survey for people that may be watching this overseas. It was a voluntary survey. It now needs to go through Parliament. However, it was something astonishingly high, the amount of electorates that actually voted yes. So for it to not go through Parliament is almost an assassination for the current government because if they don't, anyway, I'm not a political person, but that's how it reads to me. Focusing on today's win, it's a yes. We are that close that close to having it legalized in Australia or just having marriage equality and it's quite it's quite a liberating feeling it really is so I'm just gonna leave that there and hopefully in the near future I'll be allowed to get married and I'll be considered a full citizen of my own country for now that's a wrap